Welcome everyone! Today we will be installing Paparazzi on macOS Mavericks uh, just from the pure source and uh, not uh, the binary. Uh, this is very useful if you want to stay on top and be on the newest uh, version of Paparazzi. First uh, we will be installing Sublime Text. This is a very nice text editor that I like using for uh, software development. Just go to sublimetext.com and uh, go on the download page and download the macOS uh, installer package. Then let's make another tab and download other prerequisites. The next thing we will be downloading is the X11 application called XQuartz. This is the same prerequisite you would need if you were installing from binary. Just download the XQuartz DMG. Let's make another window and uh, we will be downloading one more prerequisite, uh, namely Macports. Macports.org should be the website. Go on the download page, it's uh, in the right upper corner. And download the package for macOS 10 Mavericks. Alright, so we now have uh, everything we will need as a um, prerequisite. Let's close Safari and start with Sublime. Just open up the DMG and move the Sublime Text to binary into applications. One cool thing, it has uh, command line integration, so let's open up uh, the terminal. Just Spotlight Terminal. So let's make it permanently bigger font so it is easier to see. So go in the Inspector, then Settings and uh, select the basic theme and change the font size. 18 should be big enough. Alright. What we have to do is make a symlink from uh, applications slash text, uh, sublime text, contents, and then a shirt support bin. And there is a subble binary, and user bin is the target, just, uh, just a soft symlink. And we need the password, of course. Okay, we can close this now, for now. The next thing we will be installing is XQuartz. Just open up the DMG. Oh, we don't need the Sublime Text uh, anymore. And open up the installer. Just press continue. Accept the license. And install. Authenticate. This will take a while, depending on how fast your machine is. Don't uh, forget that you have to log out and log in again. Otherwise, uh, it will not automatically open. So let's uh, do that and uh, finish up the installation. Close. And I will log in very quick, quickly in, and uh, I will see you on the other side. Now that we have logged in again, we can open up the terminal, and we need to install a prerequisite for. Mac ports and that are the command line compilation tools like GCC and make for that we just type Xcode select minus minus install and install all the packages as necessary
And now we can install Mac ports. Just press continue on all the necessary buttons. And we are done. So now we can uh, um, add paparazzi sources uh, to our system. In our case, we will just open in Sublime the file that contains the source links. Just uh, go in the terminal and uh, type subl and then slash opt local etc Mac ports sources.conf Just confirm. Oh, I didn't uh, open up it before, so let's try it again. Then it should open up with no problems. Let's close the empty window and run that again. There we go. Most of the stuff is commented out, as you can see, with the, the hashtags. And uh, we just add a new line, rsync, colon, slash, slash, rsync, dot, paparazzi, uav, dot, org, slash, macports, slash, ports. And we can close that, or save. Let's go to File. save. We will have to authenticate because it is a administrator file. And there we go. Now we can tell ports to load the new source. sudo port self-update. And uh, the command is not known yet. Uh, the reason is uh, that uh, after installing Mac ports, we didn't uh, close the terminal and open that up again. So we have to close the terminal so it reloads all the environment variables that Mac ports added. So it, let's close the terminal window and go to shell, new window, and open it up again. So now we can just type sudo port self-update. This will refresh all the rsync sources and uh, will tell us to upgrade the outdated ports in the case if uh, we already have some ports installed. Now that we have done that, we can install the actual meta package paparazzi tools by typing sudo port install paparazzi tools. The error at the beginning, or the warning, that the Xcode build um, exists but uh, failed to execute, that is fine, we can just ignore that. Let's wait for quite a while, you, it will take, depending on how fast your machine is, up to an hour or two even, to compile everything. So, after we are done with that, we can clear the terminal and install one more package. We need to install curl CA bundle. It is as a necessary package uh, to have the certificate authority certificates. These certificates uh, are necessary for SSL. SSL um, is used while you are downloading, for example, Google Maps uh, into your ground station. And uh, Paparazzi uses uh, wget to download those. If you don't have the certificates and you don't have them linked to wget, then you will get an error and you won't be able to download the tiles. So to remedy that problem, we can now add this to the wget-rc config file that should be in your home directory. In this case, I use uh, vi because it's faster for me. ca underscore certificate equals opt local share curl curl ca bundle and uh, this way wget will know the source of uh, certificates all right after we have done that uh, step we can uh, download paparazzi source 
For that we just go to um, the GitHub page of Paparazzi, github.com slash paparazzi slash paparazzi. And uh, on the right side you see the URL, it's the HTTPS URL and just copy that one and just type in the terminal git clone and then paste the URL. So this will download the sources of Paparazzi. Now we can go into the subdirectory Paparazzi, build Paparazzi itself, just run make. and run the paparazzi center dot slash paparazzi. This should launch uh, the x11 server and here we go. We can select the macro jet, micro jet and build it and run the simulation. Execute sim. The GCS is loading and let's adjust the window a little bit and we can load the maps, great, thanks to our certificates being loaded properly. Let's adjust the panels and we can launch. And in simulator, just throw it away. There we go. And the microjet is taking off. So the installation is not very complicated. It is definitely much more time consuming than the installation of the binary package. On the other hand, it is much more flexible and you can adjust it to your needs in the future. And if you are developing and uh, working on UAVs, I definitely recommend this uh, approach uh, over the binary install approach. If you're only using someone else's uh, airframe files, uh, then uh, probably the binary install is completely fine. But uh, this is a much more flexible solution than that. I hope you liked this tutorial video and uh, I hope uh, to see you soon again. Have a good one!